the fourth generation Volkswagen Golf is basically a very simple and a reliable car. However, what about the newer Golf, the fifth generation? Well, the truth is that it's not that reliable than the older Golf, mainly because the problems with the engines. But if you choose the right engine, then the overall reliability of this newer, fifth generation should be also alright. This VW Golf was made from 2003 to 2008. The interior of this car is, well, it's boring, isn't it? It's mainly because lots of these cars have mainly dark, dark grey interior, which is actually really not exciting at all. But sometimes you can also find cars which have more brighter interior with bright colors and even leather seats, which is definitely better. Anyway, at least the build quality is very good. However, some of the plastic materials can be more worn, mainly in high mileage cars. This fifth generation Golf is not notorious for rust problems, but it's still better to check the car also for rust. There can be problem with the center locking system, window regulators, passenger seat occupancy sensor, ABS ESP sensors, headlight taillight condensation, brake light switch, water leaking into the interior, engine management system, damaged cable harness in the engine compartment, electric radiator cooling fan and with the air conditioning system. The suspension is usually alright, however it can be more worn mainly in high mileage cars, so pay attention to various rattling and humming noises from the suspension. The standard equipment in this car was really poor, but sometimes you can also find cars which are equipped with leather seats, heated front seats, electrically adjustable seats, dual zone automatic climate control or navigation system. Let's check out those engines. This is quite interesting, because almost every petrol engine has its own common problem. On the other side, it's also quite funny. Anyway, the 1.4 liter 4 cylinder engine can have more worn camshafts if the previous owner have not changed the oil regularly. In this case, there can be also carbon buildup and bigger oil consumption. The 1.6 liter engine can have bigger oil consumption or problems with the EGR valve, but mainly in high mileage cars. All the petrol engines with the FSI direct injection can have often problems with the injectors and the carbon buildup, mainly because of the cheaper fuel, so you have to use the more expensive premium fuel in these engines. They can have also problems with the timing chain, mainly the 1.4 liter and the 1.6 liter, but sometimes even the 2 liter FSI engine. Then the newer 1.4 liter and the 2 liter turbocharged engines can have problems with the turbocharger, injectors, carbon buildup and the timing chain. The 1.4 liter TSI twin charger can have problem even with the compressor because this engine is equipped with a turbocharger and also with a compressor. From the diesel engines I would recommend only the 1.9 liter TDI 4 cylinder engine which has great fuel consumption and it's reliable enough but of course it can also have regular problems. I would not recommend the 2 liter TDI 4 cylinder engines because they can have often problems with the dual mass flywheel, oil consumption, fuel pump, worm camshaft and sometimes even cracked cylinder head. It's very important to change the oil in the engine after 15,000 km but the best is to change it after 10,000 km. Most of the engines are equipped with timing belt, so you have to replace the timing belt every 120,000 km. In 1.9 liter TDI diesel and 1.4 liter petrol engine after 90,000 km. In engines which are equipped with timing chain, the timing chain can be worn after 100,000 km, so you have to pay attention to rattling noise after cold start. If the car is equipped with the 4-motion four 4-wheel four drive system, then you should also change the oil in the Haltex differential every 60,000 km. You can choose the manual 5 or 6-speed gearbox, which is usually reliable, or there are two automatic gearboxes. The Tiptronic is a regular automatic transmission. The DSG is a dual-clutch automatic gearbox, which is more complicated than the Tiptronic. This DSG gearbox should change gears very fast and very smoothly. But remember that the automatic gearbox can have electronic or mechanic problems, so you should check it properly before buying. I recommend to change the oil in the automatic gearbox every 60,000 km. You should check the car properly before buying, also check the gaps between the body panels, they should be even on the left and on the right side too. I hope that this information are helpful enough, 
If we have some questions, write them into comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe or comment. Thanks for watching.